no matter where you go, people are always stopping you. Everybody's got some story they want to tell you. You're making instant friends no matter where you go. What other car can you drive to work and have 10 people smile and wave to you as you drive by? I'm guessing they're not doing that to the Chevy pickup. You're essentially driving a big terrarium of a car. <laughs> um, if you suffer from a rare dementia like I do, it is, it is the car to have. The Volkswagen bus is a cultural icon. It was in the right place at the right time. We were all a bunch of a bunch of old hippies is what we were. They were cheap. They could haul a lot of stuff. You know, you could draw the curtains and hang out and smoke your dope or whatever and theoretically not get caught. These are not hippie vans anymore because they're too expensive. And honestly, that breaks my heart. Could we be looking at a $200,000 VW bus? There's so many people wanting so many early buses that it's just pushed the price through the roof. We need to wake up as a community and realize that we do need to source out other ways to keep these things going long term. The sun is sinking low. There hasn't been but just a couple times in the 20 going on 30 years I've been driving these that I haven't been able to fix my car when it breaks down with just simple knowledge. You're riding along, it's like a big movie screen, you know, you're you're watching the whole world go by and you can see it all. It's a matter of slowing your life down and, and living where you are and living in the moment. And they have a fellow face, you know? Of course, this one doesn't have the emblem. Well, when you get the emblem on there, it's got a little nose and the eyes and, you know, the smile bumper and kind of an innate character that's almost human, many human qualities. Uh, which include failures. <laughs>